what is this place? It was a real town once. Now it's a permanent movie set for movie companies that want to make cowboy pictures. Nate, you said you had a surprise for me. This is great. <laughs> Come on. Hey, this looks like fun, Trey. Somebody left a rope for us. Come on, let's throw a few. Wow, now I can learn to rope as good as my Uncle Ben. Great shot, Jim. Easy shot, Trey. Hitting them while your horse is running full speed. Now that's a lot tougher. <laughs> I bet I'll never be a cowboy. I can't even make the easy shots. Well, you can't do anything you don't try to do. You think cowboys are born roping cattle? Of course not. They spend hours and hours and years and years trying to get that rope to do just what they want it to. That's always been the cowboy way, son. Working hard, getting the job done, and done right. It's in your heart, the heart of every real cowboy, and everybody who's ever yearned to be one, doing your best to get the job done. I guess I better start practicing, huh? You better. You don't get to be a cowboy by sitting and watching, getting up and doing. That's what being a cowboy is all about. I'm gonna be a cowboy. I'm gonna learn to throw this old rope and throw it real good. Just wait. There's more to being a cowboy than roping a steer. There's more to a cowboy than the work he does or the tools he uses. And a cowboy's not a cowboy because he dresses or acts like one. No, it's in the heart. It took men with heart to win the West, men with sturdy values, with pride in themselves and their work, men who could dream dreams, and then with persistence and the daring of a true gambler, make those dreams come true. Men who were little boys once, like Trey there, who wanted more than anything else to grow up to be cowboys. And for the last several decades, at least, most of those little boys have caught that dream at the movies. I want you to throw it hard this time now. Missed again. Well, toss another. You were real close. Don't give up. A cowboy never gives up. And nice one, Trey. You're getting the hang of it. Yeah, I guess now I gotta learn to sing. <laughs> Why do you say that? Don't all cowboys sing? Well, I guess you're probably right. If they're not singing to their cattle about some beautiful gal that broke their heart, they're singing to some beautiful gal about their cattle or about love or how tough a life they've got and all that goes along with it. Go on, build yourself a loop and try another one. Back in the saddle again. Sure was, Trey. Had everything a cowboy needed. Blacksmith shop, general store, and uh, that other schoolhouse, sometimes known as the saloon, sometimes the gambling hall. A place where a cowboy could wet his whistle, perhaps share the company of a beautiful woman, or play a few hands of poker. But cowboys don't live in the city, do they? They just come to town for a good time, right? Well, for the most part, yes, but there's some cowboys that are trapped in the cities, and to them, there's a good time is the outside even. of a horse that's good for the inside of a boy. <laughs> He's a good kid, Trey. We always have a new generation coming on with new problems, new challenges, and they grow up so fast, too fast sometimes. But I'll make my mark for them. They're our future. And the cowboy, the all-American cowboy, well, he probably never knew he existed. He was real, you see. He was just himself. We'll never lose that, not in this country. Not in this land. No, sir. That dream will never die. 